Hey guys, quick tip for those getting started with Config UI. Maybe you wanted to test one set of KSambler parameters against another and you find yourself in this predicament. So the solution is going to be not to do this. I know this is very popular for some reason, pressing Shift R and I don't know, doing this, but that's, that's not very helpful either. The solution is to think about your workflow in a different way. That is, you need to think horizontally and down. Let me show you what I mean. First, you need this set of nodes called context by RG3. There's a small one and there's a big one. You select the first one and you paste it over and over again. It doesn't matter where you place them, you just need to daisy chain them like this. Then you select the whole lot, right click, align selected to, press top, and now it looks much nicer already. Every time you want to do something that's based on conditional logic, create a new group, name it something you can remember, and place elements of your workflow in there. In this case, I want to test different text and codes with different wording. You'll see I've created two groups, conditioning one and conditioning two. What's really cool about those nodes is that they're context aware. So if I take my latent from here, I can simply drop it on context big and it will know that it needs to plug into latent and it works both ways. So if I go from my context, I hold down control and I push it onto this case sampler and release the button it plugs everything in without me having to do anything. What's even cooler is that it understands the color of the groups. So if you right click them, choose edit group and select a special color, then what you can do is right click your group by passer, select properties, choose match color, and we're going to go for brown. And now my group is going to filter itself. And the reason why I was asking you to think down as well as horizontal is because the order of the groups is based on the order in which they present themselves on the screen. So this will be the first, this will be the second, the third, and the fourth. So now I can easily go back to my group bypasser and turn off conditioning two, as well as case sampler two, and get my results. And as you can see, the groups have been bypassed and the information is overridden into these noodles. It's very clean. And once you're done, you simply close them like this and I think we can all agree that this is a cleaner workflow than what we had at the beginning. Oh, and one last thing, if I was to re-enable this and click this arrow, it will take me straight to my case sampler group. You can see here, there's still a lot of noodles there. So what I'm going to do is drop another context big node and click control, release, collapse it. And now it's only one cable going down. So I know exactly what's going on, what's being overridden. If I was to simply extend this and have a look at it. I hope this is useful. Cheers.